Hello everybody and today we are going to look at the process layout of one particular department. We will use that as an example. So we are seeing a formula in front of us here and we're going to use this formula in order to calculate the cost of movement among different departments or between departments. Uh, but this formula will become relevant to us when we look at the example. So the example that we will use includes uh, the factory that has six departments. So all of that was, is our case. Each department is 20 by 20 feet and the building is 60 feet long and 60 feet wide. So in order for us to calculate the cost of movement between one department and the next, we have to first construct a from two matrix and then we have to follow uh, the other steps as well subsequent to that so we have to therefore look at one way in terms of how we can track the movement between the departments is we can actually go there and observe what movements take place between which departments and so on or if it's a, an example that we are using from a textbook that textbook would have provided the information in terms of the from two movements all right so that movement, you would basically get that, and then you have to construct your from to matrix. So assuming that the textbook provided us with the information, in this case, the answer is yes. So the textbook showed us that between the, now this, this is the six departments at the top here in the matrix, in the horizontal uh, end, and then on the vertical side here, we also have the six departments so that we'll be able to show the movement from and to. So this here would be from and here would be to. So the vertical line is from, the horizontal line would be to. So we have six departments, assembly, paint, machine, shop, receiving, shipping, and lastly, testing. So we can see here that the movement between assembly and painting is 50 assembly and machine shop we have 100 loads are moved between those two departments however nothing is moved between assembly and receiving and assembly and shipping however assembly and testing there are 20 loads that are moved all right so therefore i'm able to show you from the example that this is the movement between assembly and the other departments accordingly just for example we look at the last one. So between department 4, which is receiving, and department 5, which is shipping, 20 loads are moved. This is the actual layout. This is what it looks like in the factory. So we said that this is 60 feet long, right, by 40 feet. This is what the department building is like. And we have to assume here that each department is of the same dimensions. So that was also given to us. So based on how the factory is actually laid out now, this is where the assembly department is. Next to it is the painting department. And then there is the machine shop. The receiving department is under the assembly. The shipping is under the painting. Let me just go back there. Right. And the testing is under the machine shop. So this actually gives us a visual representation of how the departments are currently laid out in the organization. And this is important for us to map. We're going to use this now in order to map the interdepartmental flow that records the number of loads that are moved from one department to the next, which is the from two matrix. So we simply take the same flow that we had from before. All right, so this is assembly. This is painting. This is the machine shop, right? Remember, assemb then we had the, this is the testing. This is number five is the shipping. I can't remember what number four is, but you can just check back in the slide and you'll see. So this is the exact layout of what we looked at previously 
and then you now look into your from to matrix to get the movement and the number of loads that are moved between one department to the next. So if you can recall the assembly, from the assembly to the painting, 50 loads were moved. So that's between one and two. From the assembly to department three, 100 loads were moved. And from the assembly to testing, 20 loads were moved. So all we are doing is just simply going into the from to matrix, look to see what, what movements are there between the various departments and just put the number of loads that were moved between those departments in that given week. So just for one other example, we can see here that between Department 4 and Department 5, 50 loads were moved. All we do now is we simply take those movements and or the costs, assume that each load, the movement from of one load is actually the cost of that is one dollar. All right, we, we are assuming that again. So let us assume that one load movement from one department to the next is one dollar. Given that those departments are close by or adjacent to one another. So if those departments are close by, then it's one dollar per load movement. However, if the departments are not located close by, then we will double the cost at two dollars per load. So in the schematic shown before, we look at the movement between one and two. One and two, assembly and painting, painting, they are close by to each other. So it was 50 loads that were moved, multiplied by one dollar, give us 50 dollars for the cost of movement between one and two depart department, one and two in that week. However, between assembly and the third department, 100 loads were moved, but those departments were not located close by. So hence we had to apply $2 per load versus $1, and that's how we came up to 200. So it's 100 multiplied by 200 would give us, 100 multiplied by $2 would give us $200. And then between department one and six, again, the movement between department one and six had 20 loads. However, because they are far, they are not located close to each other, we'll have to multiply 20, multiply by two, which will give us $40. All right, so we just simply record the dollar value of the movement between or among all of the departments. And we get a fine, we add up the, we sum that movement and we get a total of $570 for that particular layout in a week in terms of transportation or movement cost. Now that we have a total value, we can now try to revise the departmental flow. So as an operation manager, you can come in and say, okay, I have been able to observe that there are more movements between, let's say, Department 1 and Department 3 in a given week than Department 1 and Department uh, 2 or Department 1 and Department 6. So be given that close linkage or that need for regular movement between one another, you can rearrange the process, you can rearrange the layout so that Department 1 can be placed next to Department 3 and 2. So we can see that we just kind of shift around or move around the departments and we put departments that actually have more uh, loads being moved between each other, closer to each other accordingly. And then we put, again, the same amount of movement per week. So between 2 and 3, it's 30. They, because they have less loads that are being moved between each other, we put them far apart. However, because one and three, you know, you have 
so much movement taking place, we put them close by to each other and so on. And we do the same thing now with this new schematic here being developed as a recommendation to the organization. We can now calculate the cost accordingly. So we can see here that between one and three, because they are close by, we don't have $200 anymore. We kept the $100, which is 100 loads at $1 per load. So you have a new cost of $480, which was a reduction from the previous $570. So with our new recommended format, we see that there's a cost saving to the organization. So therefore, we take the same schematic that we created and we just move around the departments to look like this. So painting would now be area one, assembly would now be area two, machine shop would now be area three, and so on and so forth. So you can actually see that we can calculate the movement between one department to the next in order to determine whether the layout indeed is, you know, um, desirable by the organization or not. That's the end, guys. Take care.